Hey YouTube fans, Ty Andrews here doing another action figure review. Now this is a bit of a retro figure review. This is a vintage uh, 90s, I think it was the 90s when the series was released. A vintage 90s Robocop, the TV series Ambulance. Now it is based on the, I just get it here, on the Hummer design, which is, this is the Tactical Command version. So they did two releases, they did this version, and essentially what it is, it's just this one with an extra cab piece on the back, from what I can tell. Uh, there might be a few extra accessories, but overall it seems to be the same thing. So what I'm going to be doing is go through the box, and then we're going to be unboxing this thing and taking it out of the box. So from the get-go, there is a try me button, so if I hit it, you can see the lights and sounds. There is an opening door on the front door. The back doors are fake doors. They don't actually open. Um, if it stays similar to the other one, this bonnet piece should open, but it's hindered by the box at the moment. And if I just flip it around, there is stuff around the back. So there should be a stretcher with a plasma bottle uh, opening uh, engine compartment, doors, push light buttons, electronic sounds, flashing lights, opening hood and doors, stretcher, and that's pretty much it. So if I open the box, you can see there's a little plastic baggie with the stretcher in it. And if I take out the vehicle itself, I can do it on screen. Bear with me a moment. Uh, so I hit the Thing. Oh my. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Doesn't want to come out. Push the whole thing out. It won't break. Ah, there we go. Once it got going. That is the inner tray. With the cardboard. Now there's possibly stuff I need to clip to take it off, so I'll have to look see. Ah yeah, there's wires. If I just undo the wires. There is a couple of wires holding it in place. Hopefully those are the only wires on the inner part of it. There might be more holding doors and whatnot closed in the bonnet. Oh, man. Oh. As Steve would say, it's destroying the value. There is the Robocop police Hummer and police ambulance out of the box. We just get these things off the wheels. Just tie things. I said the bonnet does open. We can have a look at some figures with this thing. So oh, there's uh, stuff on the back door as well. Let me see if I can get that off. At least open. Doors are quite small actually for an ambulance, but they do open up. So you have rear opening doors. Let's just get this thing out of its little baggie. There is the stretcher with plasma bottle. That just plugs into the side. It doesn't look like there's any lower wheels for it. And we'll get a here's one of the TV series Robocop figures. So I should have two of them. There's, I think this was the generic cop that was used, uh, make or uh, used by making the just using the Madison mold. They just streamlined the paint applications just to make it a generic one. I'm pretty sure this is the one that came with the police car. Um, they did two runs of the vehicles, as far as I know. There was ones that were pretty basic with no figures, and then there was a second series, I think, that had a couple of figures. They're like the, this kind of generic, this police officer kind of figure, which was a repaint of the Madison figure, just without the visor and the couple of extra paint apps and the weapons. There's actually another one of those little tie wrappy things, which I didn't notice. As it's hot, it would be on the opposite side, holding door the driver's side door closed so you can see the seat goes way back 
Now, this is my very first Robocop with some parts from a newer one. If I just take off the uh, head, you can see the paint apps have been scraped off in it over the years. I do have two of these guys. I have one that has all the good gear, and then this one that has the battle damage, so I put it onto my really old one. But you can get Robo to sit in there and can close the door. You should be able to close the door easily enough. If you just move his hand up above, push him all the way in. Voila. And I don't think you can fit this in with the... Oh, no, you can't. You can actually fit this in with the medic thing on it. Let's see if we can get the old injured cop into the back. Will it fit the whole way in? It doesn't look like it'll fit the whole way in. Is there... Oh, there should be a space for it to go all the way in. Let me see if we just have to line up. Oh, yeah. You just have to line it up so that it fits all the way in. And the figure is sliding off. And now the door is just opened. So you can fit the figure all the way in. And close the two doors. And have Robo bringing someone to a hospital. Using this iron. And just for scaling. For the new Haya Toys line. Here is one of the Haya Toys Robocop figures. These are 118 scale. So he should, in theory, be able to fit in the figure, but because of those seats design, it's probably, he's going to be kind of dwarfed in it. I think vehicle size is right. I just think the, um, because they retooled it, I think these were reused from another line. That was actually four inch, or three inch, quarter inch. Let's see if we can fit Robo in. He does fit in. Now, unfortunately, they haven't done any other human characters in, from Higher Toys, but he does fit in. He does look a little short inside there. Maybe if I push him up a little bit higher on the seat. You can sort of fake it a bit. I suppose. I'm just getting to sit a little higher. He might need to put a cushion under his arse to get him to sit properly. But... In theory, you should be able to get him to sit a little bit higher on the seat, so you should be able to look out. And now I just lost the patient because they fell out the back of the door. So, yeah, the doors on the back don't actually lock, they just kind of uh, close. So, thing to note, if you're transporting a hurt individual and you go over a speed bump, you might lose your patient. Uh, yours will go easily. As I said, it's just a reuse of the other mold. But it's actually remolded on the roof. You can see them side by side. There's a remold to the roof. Uh, the same thing with the back doors on this one. They're kind of fake back doors. The whole roof section, I'd say, from here is redone. Um, because it doesn't have all the bolts on it. The siren should be the same, but the siren on this one doesn't work. And you still have the opening engine compartment gimmick, which are, is painted exactly the same. One difference is this one's it's been in my collection a bit longer, so it's weathered a small bit. But overall, it's the same, pretty much identical Jeep or Hummer style Jeep mold. Unfortunately, mine is missing a door. I think, from what I can gather, if they're packaged this way in the open window box, it's possible that this door got ripped off before it was even purchased, and that it was like a leftover clearance aisle type thing. If I turn around, like even the back is very similar. I said the most difference on the new one, or the old new one, is this... Uh, roof section with the ambulance piece and the stickers are pretty much similar but just slightly different so here's a quick look at the ambulance a quick unboxing and look at the tactical field ambulance from the robocop tv series line from toy island i said this thing was released back in the 90s so and they they seem to be pretty hard to find either in box or loose they don't tend to come up that often on amazon or not on, on amazon on ebay I did manage to find this one on eBay in box and it wasn't too pricey at the time but um, I think the seller didn't really know the value of it because they tend to go for some some of the boxed items tend to go for crazy money depending on seller and location so it is 
as they say, a collector's market out there. But if you are interested in picking one up, just keep keep an eye to um, eBay. They do pop up on occasion. But if you, you know, unfortunately, I don't think there's any other options for getting stuff like this in scale to the with the with the Detroit stuff on them, logos and new Delta City and all that. But um, hopefully, maybe down the line, Hyatt Toys might do a few vehicles. Which would be nice. I'd love to see them do the Interceptor. The kind of, you know, the, the Robocop car from the first film. Which was based on, I think it was a Ford. Was it a Ford Sierra or something along those lines? It was something similar to one of those. But, um, I could be wrong. I know it was a Ford make. But I don't think, I can't remember the actual model type. But, uh, I think it was reused a few times in all the, the you know, the, um... The, all the extra, you know, the follow-up films, I think, and I think it was reused in the TV series. But unfortunately, I don't have my one nearby with me at the moment. I think it's over in a different place. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and review of the Robocop TV series Tactical Field Ambulance. So as I say, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and please hit the bell for notifications if you want to be updated when i upload a new video cheers guys